Hello, I'm Kevin Merry, and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to produce very simple drag and drop learning resources that can be used in a virtual learning environment. Now as can be seen on the screen I have a simple drag and drop learning resource. Now I teach research methods so the drag and drop resource that I've created is the steps in the research cycle. And all this drag and drop activity um, consists of is just some boxes and I literally drag some text into a box where I think it should go and basically all my boxes are are shapes using the insert shape tab at the top of the sheet here you can use any shape you want okay so you could use a square or a rectangle or whatever now all I've done with these shapes is just duplicate duplicate them and to duplicate them all I need to do is hold down control and press D and it duplicates my shape for me the good thing about using shapes is that they can be written directly onto so you don't need to use a text box so there we go I can put some text on it just write my name there and then get rid of that. Cut it out. So I've used some simple shapes that can be duplicated easily and there you are you have the bare bones for your drag and drop activity. Now you'll notice that the sheet itself still looks like an Excel spreadsheet and that might not be very inviting for your learners. However there are ways we can change that. Go to this Windows button in the top left hand corner or the office button click it down at the bottom, you bottom you'll notice it says Excel options if you click that button and then click advanced if you scroll down to the display properties you can actually start to edit how this particular spreadsheet will look so if we get rid of the horizontal scroll bar the vertical scroll bar sheet tabs get rid of the grid lines look OK. As you'll notice it looks a lot cleaner, it looks a little bit more like um, an inviting drag and drop learning resource rather than a spreadsheet. Now one of the other things that you might notice is at the moment I can write on this particular spreadsheet and it can be edited and that's not very good if we're going to use this in a virtual learning environment so what we must do is we must protect our worksheet. And we can protect it by clicking this tab review at the top of the sheet. Click protect sheet and then if we make sure that the top two boxes select lock cells and select unlock cell to ticked and then click OK. When we go to write on the sheet it'll actually come up with a message that won't let us actually do that. Now the clever thing about this is that despite the sheet being locked and unable for editing you can still use are drag and drop boxes. The reason we can use the drag and, drag and drop boxes is because once we've created these drag and drop boxes we can then cut them and paste them back into the spreadsheet using what's called a GIF image. So So if we have a little go at actually putting this thing together, so the steps in the research cycle, I think the first thing I want to do is identify a topic that I want to research, then perhaps write a literature review, then form some sort of specific question, choose some sort of research design, obtain ethical approval for the study, collect my data, analyze my data, and then finally write my research report. And there we have it. In a nutshell, this activity took me about 10 to 15 minutes to produce. Very simple, very easy, very effective. That is how you create a very simple drag and drop activity using Microsoft Excel. Thank you.